Hey guys, I am Adolfo Ferranda at NerdStalker on Twitter, NerdStalker.com, and NerdStalker TV on YouTube. So today we're going to talk about journaling. I'm new to journaling. I'm new also to Keyboard Maestro, a tool that we're going to use uh, to automate this whole journaling process. This will just prompt to automatically create a journal entry for us in Evernote, another tool we're going to use uh, for each day via just a keyboard command, instantly prompts us to journal. And it's fantastic. Check it out. So this is all based on the 5-Minute Journal, the webpage that we're on right now. All links will be included on our YouTube in the show notes, um, which Tim Ferriss had mentioned. What this does is it prompts you with some nice questions and to be, start journaling for the beginner and maybe the advanced journalist, for all I know, or journalist, journaler. Um, and what it has is a nice inspirational quote on top. So we're going to try to mimic this in Evernote, right? And if you want to buy the book, I guess you can go to their website and buy it for that. If you're into the physical thing, I like the electronic stuff. So that's the approach we're going to be taking here. And so another tool we're going to be using is a text expansion tool. This is an alternative. I'm using Phrase Express. It's more sort of comparable to Text Expander, which is another popular text expansion tool, uh, but requires a subscription. And Phrase Express is a one-time purchase, and you're done. Um, and it's as robust as Text Expander. So I highly recommend that if you're really into text expansion. Uh, otherwise, Atex is fantastic, and it's $5, basically, right? And we, as trankandam.com, for slash Atex, and we'll include that in the show notes as well. Just fantastic little application there. Okay, so Keyboard Maestro is going to be the brains of this whole operation, and really we're just going to be using a bunch of keyboard shortcuts, essentially. There's going to be one little line of JavaScript just to grab the inspirational quote from another... Uh, website and to slap it into the Evernote note. But besides that, it's just a bunch of keyboard commands that are sort of available via these different applications and Keyboard Maestro is just utilizing them to make this whole thing happen. So let's look at the um, the macro that we created. So in Keyboard Maestro, I create a new macro and I name mine journaling, right? And so before we begin, I should probably go back to Evernote and show you that I have a notebook called Journal, right? And this is an example of one that was already done. A date's entered all via a, a Evernote keyboard command that they offer in different formats, too, if you don't like that type of date formatting. The quote, this is pulled in from a separate website that you will see and then paste it in. And then there's a double space, and we paste in what our text expansion tool puts in. Or, shoot, you could even have this on a a uh, text document on your local machine or whatever. In in this scenario, though, we're just going to use a text expansion tool to slap it in. Uh, as well, you might be able to do all this in Evernote. I wasn't able to currently um, because Evernote's uh, search notes command was not working for me, keyboard command. But uh, that's not here or there. So let's go back to the keyboard maestro um, action macro. Okay, so the name is journaling of the macro. And uh, the keyboard command that I chose to trigger this whole thing off is uh, Control Option J. And then in, I'm telling it to activate Phrase Express, which is the text expansion app, or it could be whatever one that you choose, or shoot, you're even, like I said, text, notepad application, whatever you use. I tell it to activate Evernote and then bring Evernote to the front, make sure it's fully, fully loaded. <coughs> Excuse me. And then to type this keyboard shortcut, which is oddly enough a Evernote keyboard shortcut for searching notebooks. All right. So I believe that is, uh, what is that? Option command J. And then in that search field pops up to search your notebooks. I type in journal, the name of my notebook. Remember that? And then we type the enter because we want to bring back the results of the search for journal. Wait a second. We're now in the journal notebook. And so what we want to do is create a new note in that notebook. So that's what we do. Under the file menu in Evernote, we create a new note. Wait for a second for it to load. And then we load that. Remember that uh, that date stamp, that time and date, or that date stamp? This is the command that Evernote uh, provides, which is Shift-Command-D. And it'll just slap in a date without any text expansion tools needed. That's out of the box of Evernote. And then I hit and that's the name of your note, right? The top line. And then I hit a tab to go into the body of the note itself where we do some work, right? So then I clear my past clipboard just in case. 
And then I go to the website, this unfortunately named website for quotes, but it's got a slew of quotes and it random randomizes them really well. And it's probably the biggest quote, motivational, inspirational quote site I could find. Let's name that for whatever reason. Uh, wait for that, for that web page to load. In addition, you can use whatever um, is your web browser of choice. It doesn't have to be Chrome. And in, in my instance, it is Scenario. That's my, my browser of choice so far. Uh, wait for the browser to load. And then this is that one little line of JavaScript that you can steal here. Um, and what it's doing is it's on going on the web page that we're on, the Inspirational Quote web page. It's looking for that quote and for the tags around that quote in order to to be able to locate that text to put into our clipboard. In this scenario, for whatever reason, the front end developer named the class video, even though it's a uh, <laughs> just an inspirational quote. And so what that does is then it grabs the content of that quote as, as well as who the quote is by, adds it to your system clipboard, pastes, and then it uh, pastes it into the body of the note, right, the very top of the note. And then we want that double space so that we can enter our, um, paste in our, our prompting questions for our journal entry. So return, return is the double space. Wait for a second. And then in my text expansion app, I have that keyboard trigger, um, which is right here. And then I wanna make sure that Evernote displays in case this is all running in the background, which it could. So let's run it. And so I'm gonna hit this little play button here, or let's just go to Evernote so I can show you guys how it actually runs. And so what I'm gonna do is hit Command Option J. But let's go to another notebook so that um, you guys can see that it really works. So I'm in another notebook called Test, a test notebook. And note here that when I do run this, this macro, it's gonna jump us to the my journal notebook by doing that search, and then all the magic's gonna happen. Here we go. Control Option J. There it is, searches for it. Boom, dates inserted, I'm waiting for the web page to load for the quote. There it is. And there it is, the text expansion that triggered that. So that all happened really fast, but things of note. It switched us to the journal notebook. It entered in the, the command for the date, and then it went to the website, grabbed a quote, as well as the who, who said the quote, and then from my text expansion app, it simply did the keyboard command to paste in the questions to prompt us for the day. Now, formatting and everything else can be cleaned up. That's up to you. I did this sort of quick and dirty for the for this uh, particular demo. Let's try it again from here, just so you can, now that you have some context. Control Option J, it could be whatever you guys choose. Boom. Search, we're in there. Date is entered, waiting for the website to load. New quote, by the way, watch, that comes up. There it is, Zig Ziglar. And there it is. So I hope uh, this is of some benefit to you. And uh, thank you so much for your time. We'll be having a lot more uh, tutorials like this and uh, application reviews and, and things like that at nerdstalker.com and on our YouTube page, Nerdstalker TV. And uh, I am Adolfo Fronda at Nerdstalker on Twitter. Thanks so much.